Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. For those of you that are new, my name is Arshawn Carter, and on this channel, I like to discuss a variety of different things from music to life and anything in between. And for today's video, I'm going to be discussing why you should always remain optimistic in any given circumstance, no matter how bad the situation may seem. Now, I know there's certain circumstances and situations in which remaining optimistic may seem impossible. Like you can't find any silver lining or any good to come out of what you're experiencing right now. But, um, you know, God puts his toughest soldiers through the hardest battles. And all you're going to do is just walk away, you know, stronger, uh, wiser, and uh, just more prepared and equipped for whatever comes next. You know, um, life isn't a cakewalk. For every good day, there's a bad day awaiting. And um, it's up to us to just surge through and power through those bad days, no matter how, um, you know, improbable it may seem. But, um, you know, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. And we just got to, you know, keep our head on, our, on a swivel and uh, continue just to push through, just to get through the rain and to see the brighter days. Remaining optimistic always starts here. It's a mentality. It's a mind thing. If you don't have your mind right, then, you know, you're just going in a downward spiral. You got to stay positive. And um, you can either look at a situation with the hat, with the glass half full or half empty. If you're looking at it half empty, then yes, you're just going to dwell on what's bad and you're just going to be crying over spilled milk um over things that already happened um we can't as humans we can't control what life throws at us all we can do is just you know be in control of how we respond to it how we adapt to it how we learn and continue to move forward after it um everything that happens to us i believe is for a reason it's to either enlighten us to uh strengthen us to teach us and uh, so on and so forth I never want to look at a situ situation just for it being all bad. Any situation which, in which I consider it to just be, you know, soul bending, world ending um, type of thing, and it, it never truly is. I feel like that's just us blowing it out of proportion and uh, making it more serious than it is. And, and don't get me wrong, there is certain instances where, you know, we, we do deserve to be in that, that mode of just constant worrying and scrambling to figure out how we're going to solve it if you're going through it just always keep in mind that yes things could be a lot better but things could always also be a lot worse you know there's people that have problems that that wouldn't even amount to yours but then there's also people that are just going through a lot more on a significant more scale than what you're going through for example you know you could be stressing over losing a house you know someone could be stressing over losing a, a loved one you know, uh, God forbid, but it happens. And um, that's what I mean. Just put things into perspective. Your problems might not be as big of a problem to other people and uh, vice versa. You know, we'd always, we always, we all go through stuff as, as human beings. And um, whether we let that be shown or not, you know, that's, that's completely up to us. But, you know, it's no, it's no means, it makes no sense just stressing yourself out more when life is already doing that enough. It's up to us just to, you know, remain calm, despite how hard it could be, um, you know, meditate, uh, pray, you know, listen to music, have healthy um, solutions to your problems. Because um, uh, there's never, there's never gonna be a problem that's just going to absolutely take over your life. Um, there's always a solution. There's always ways of, of, um, of making your situation a lot better. You know, instead of you just going down the list of all the bad scenarios that can come out of it, start to think about, um, all the good that can come out of it, all of the the good scenarios. You know, I feel like we spend too much time focusing on the negative rather than considering the, the good to come out of it. Tough times don't last. Tough people do. This is all playing into, you know, a breakthrough for you, just a, a huge blessing. You know, you got to you gotta go through the demons and, and um, all the troubles that God throws at you just for you to then be rewarded with something that... Um, all the stuff that he was sending your way prior was just a test. And once you pass the test, you'll know, you know, there'll be a blessing waiting for you. And it'll be, it, it wouldn't even compare to all the bad that he put you through. You know, it'll be something that you've been wishing for, hoping for, praying for. And, um, you know, it, it doesn't always come, you know, smoothly or in a, in a timely, um, easy manner. You know, sometimes God does have to put you through a few hoops in order to to you know reward you trust in god and his plans what he what he may have you going through right now may leave you wondering why why me but one day you'll see why 
it'll all make sense. It'll all just click one day. And you'll be like, okay, now I see why you put me through such, you know, troubles and uh, obstacles in order to get to where I am. Because the whole time he was just laying down, you know, the foundation. He was just trying to build you up, you know, so you could be ready for all that you asked for. It's also good to always have like another perspective to put on your situation. You know, if you should never have to go through it alone if you don't have to. There's people that's been in our, in our positions before that has gone through things just as bad, if not worse than us. That could definitely shed some insight and um, wisdom on the situation. There could be someone out there telling you, oh, this is why, this is what I did to get out of this situation. These are the steps that I took in order to get myself out of that hole to, to make my situation better. And, um, you know, you just got to take what you can get. You know, if people are offering you advice. Don't brush it off because, you know, you're feeling like you're in a existential crisis. Take all the nuggets and um, advice that people give you. And try to take something out of it. You know, it may not always apply to you. It may not always, you know, resonate with you. But hear people out and um, you never know. It could completely flip your perspective and your um, your mind state in any tough times. You know, we all go through them. And um, I'm pretty sure there's some people in this world that's there's not, not one thing that they haven't gone through. And yet, you know, they're still standing. They're still breathing. And they're still here to, to tell the story. And, um... I feel like those type of stories you should definitely enrich yourself with. But yeah, guys, I hope anything that I said in this video helped you out in some way, shape, or form. Um, I hope any of this, some of this resonated with you and really helped you open your eyes a little bit wider to um, not just focus on the bad, but to look at, you know, the full picture and see what's good to come out of it. And um, if you're going through a difficult situation, I pray that things get better for you. Just uh, take the proper steps and trying to better it and uh, control what you can. You know, at the end of the day, control what you can. Don't stress yourself out over things that you can't even, that's out of your hands.